All right, it has come down to this. The final parts of Atlas Fallen. I feel like I've said that a lot this year. You know, I finished a lot of games, which I'm kind of surprised I wasn't going to, but I think trying out the hour plus content per video, which I won't always do. Uh, just kind of trying it out on different games that are maybe smaller. Not sure if I'm going to finish it type games and then kind of just going from there. So I uh, had a lot of fun with this one. Pretty sure I'll like support and I hope you like the ending. I do like a little review after I finish it during the credits and everything. I was just really surprised. I didn't expect to enjoy this game as much as I did. The momentum system during the combat, earning the passive traits as you attack and get hit and all that stuff like you lose the momentum bar. It's just really cool how they did it. So that and the armor upgrades, the traversal, a lot of great things about it. And uh, glad you joined me. So, all right. Love you all. Let's go and get this. And we are back. Hey, appreciate all the support of the series so far. It means a lot to me. I'm not sure if this is a brand new video or what, but still kind of editing everything. All right. Here's what I went ahead and did. Kind of do some upgrades here and then when I'm not recording. But, trying to just see all the ones I currently have equipped. So, this is the one we just got, Sand Leap. The only thing I don't like about this is it throws you into the enemy. <laughs> you know, like, that's the... Uh, only downside, I'd rather have range. Like, this right here is nicer. But I can also see this being great, because, like, let's imagine you break a boss's shield or an enemy's shield, and then you dash towards them fast enough to do actual attacks, you know? Hmm. -mm. That could also be useful, but just seems a little, like, I don't know. Some of these are great, some of these are not so good. And I'm just trying to, like, figure out what would be the best possible thing. All right. What I know I can upgrade is any of the ones with the icon, like this right here. Pell Root. Yeah, I got enough for that. Let's do this one. Higher defense, I'll take it. And I could craft some of these other ones. That one's really cool. Whirling Blade. Hmm. <laughs> Launch and kick your weapon, causing it to spin and damage nearby foes. What is this one? Oh, the Shatter. Assuming you... Wait, you could actually just make this no matter what. Interesting. You know what? Let's get this. Let's go ahead and craft it. Don't want to replace any of these. Hold on. This one's helped me a lot because in that last fight, I was able to heal for almost my entire bar. Uh, but there is a cooldown. All right, this right here... Let's do that. Let's just try to go all offense. As best we can, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. All right, here we go. We got two things over there, and then we got two over there. I know that cycling the quest, it looks like, yeah, these are all going to be, all right, crush the uh, energy sources. I think it's just follow it to both sides, essentially. We'll have like a knight on both corners, I'm assuming. Marauder. I'm good. But yeah, I appreciate all the support in this series. It's been a fun game. I really think that... Uh, once I finish it, I probably won't uninstall it for a long time. I kind of want to see what else is on it. Because the one thing I haven't really done is look for... I'll show you. The weapon types. So, these right here are the only three I've gotten the entire game. Now, I haven't done anything side quest-wise. But I don't imagine there's a lot. Because whenever you go to weapon types, it actually shows these on here. It's not like there's a fourth one. Maybe you get one later? I don't know. Oh, wait. One thing I haven't checked out. Did I ever... Do I have another one I can actually equip on tier 3? It would be these, but I just don't have... Oh no, these go for the first one. Yeah, the only other one I could craft that would go there is this right here. Deflective Hive. I need an Essence Core. Okay. Not worried about it. So be continued on that one. I feel like we gotta be close to the end of the game by now. Battle of the Gods. Crush the energy sources. We'll go to this side first. Because what would you, like, do after this? You lift it up to go a little mini game, they pop up. This actually makes sense now to why... Hey, what is this? Please be decent. Alright. Gotten a lot of, uh, artifacts. Almost every time I open a chest now, it's never the other stuff. It's always artifacts. I can never show my face to Kendra again. How could I let this... Oh, good to see that you are still on our side. What news do you have? 
The wraith up ahead has surprised us, and taken many of us. I hope the others were more successful. Gauntlet Bearer, you can do something about the beast. I'm afraid we are not able to. Where is the source of power? Did you find a path to the source of power, past the wraith? Yes, it is a strong one. We're not sure. There could even be a way past it. Good. Thank you. That's it? I'll do what I can. It's not my first wraith. I mean, it's just right up here, right? Oh, no. Wait, is that the same thing we just killed? Oh, it is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm not going to fight that right now. Hold on. All right, find a way to cross the gap. Got you. I mean, maybe we just... Up there. The energy source. Gonna create a little pathway here. Get ready. That ain't good. Nothing like getting attacked while you're trying to traverse through a uh, platform, you know? <laughs> I cannot believe what has become of this verdant forest. The essence harvest robs the land of its vitality. Once it is mined from the earth, the earth withers. All this just to keep me in tune. This is not your fault. And when Phoenix you gotta be is gone, yo, come on. The land may finally heal. I right, made it. Nice. Saying it's over here, so what is the purpose of a tree back there? Let me just run for it. It goes all the way around. Nice. It's funny how you kill a boss and then it becomes a basic enemy pretty much. Is it just going to go back? Oh, it does. Okay. So now I'm guessing we go up there somehow. Okay. Pathway time. Here we go. As long as there's no enemies next to me as I'm jumping, I'm fine. It's when I'm trying to do this and then I'm getting attacked. Tough times. All right, looks like we're going up. That is some serious... This is going to be a fashionable point. And... Gong! Those ruins... I do not remember them. They must have been built while you were in Thelos' prison. I missed so much during my imprisonment. Once our mission is complete, I aim to fix that. Alright. Oh wait, let me uh... <sighs> Armor upgrades. Do I have any way to upgrade this one anymore? What do I need right now? 11... 11,200 essence dust. My goodness. I haven't got any sets fully upgraded. But it seems like... Like, why would I upgrade the other ones now? You know? Unless you're just a completionist, I guess. But this being level 8 base... Means it, it goes all the way to 11, essentially. So... I don't know if it'd be worth it. But I'm looking at what I have now for recovery... And the last one goes to 92. Defense 140, offense 80, 
Shatter 125. My goodness. All right, well. I wonder what secrets this essence stone holds. They are very old knowledge. I cannot seem to remember how they were made. All right, ruins. Here we go. This is one of the two sides. The other side's going to be the same thing, I bet. All right, this might be a boss fight just for the one side. Maybe not. Well, it kind of has that feeling, doesn't it? So you came here with your puppets. There is only one puppeteer here. And this is your final performance. Oh, no! Oh, it's the same one from earlier. Interesting. I remember the attacks and everything. Okay. Because after this, it does the whole, like, dash towards you. After this, it does a little dash. There it goes. Out of there. Now the other enemies pop up. Get ready, get ready. That's some stagger right there. Let's go, baby. Pop off my health. All right. I never played the Surge and Lords of the Fallen stuff all the way through, but I'm kind of wondering, is it kind of like this where the enemies are repeat, you know? Tornado! I did not mean to heal. That's not good. Are so good for the first try, I guess. I've been advised by a lot of people to not play on the difficulty I'm playing on, so I may occasionally lower it during a boss fight. We'll see. If I'm struggling, that is. Tornado! Wait, what? Locked on and he still goes the other direction. That's funny. It still hit me. Uh, I hate when the lock on goes away because of just some random reason, you know? <laughs> nice. Oh, let's get this quickly. Got an essence core, nice. I think these are here to simply just help you out. Level 10, huh? The fact that they didn't despawn is pretty wild. I'm a tornado. Love you, buddy. They'll both just walk through it. What? That ain't good. But it's still going, so... I'm dead. That healing just saved me. What in the world? That timing is like, you gotta be perfect. I'm probably gonna die here. So, one of three source guarding... So, did I... I mean, is there a checkpoint after that first one, or I gotta do all three at the same time? Restart encounter. I don't like that. Let's see. Zero. Alright, well, this is gonna be a problem because we gotta do three boss fights in one. Alright. Not mad at it. The honest attempt here. Yeah, 
And dash forward. I think, honestly, if I can keep the meter really high, I should be okay. Now, if that last, if the third boss is like something brand new, that's gonna be a problem. Get ready, get ready. I got one. I'm wondering, do you keep these? Like, let's uh, yeah. Like, imagine if you die, do you get to keep the actual? I mean, that'd be cool if you did, I guess. Okay, why? It's like the lock-on just goes away because they move or whatever. much stuff as we can. Next enemy's popping up. Get ready. Tornado. There we go. Tornado. I got hit right there. Okay. I know I gotta kill these other enemies still, but that. Okay. Two of three, what's this last one? Something brand new, okay. Oh God. Have I seen this enemy before? I feel like I have, but I can't remember. Yeah, I have, okay. to aim at the... 
there's so many body parts to actually lock onto, and I get none of them sometimes. It's actually, it's actually insane. So far, so good. I'm just kind of buying my time right now because, uh, if I can just wait, I have a full meter pretty much. Well. I thought I'd keep getting attacked or whatever. Alright, that. Tornado. I want to use my actual, like, full meter for the attack, but I don't want to waste it. These rays cannot stop our shattering power. Use it. That almost killed me again. I think I have to use this here. I did like nothing. I used my entire meter for no reason. Unfortunate. I'm done. That's... I don't know. I'm all about, like, boss encounters and stuff, but the fact that I have to redo all the boss fights now kind of is a bummer, to be honest with you. Okay. Whoa, here she comes. All right, final phase, here we go. I finally just had to just, okay. Woo, hold on. my distance. This enemy has a ton of health. It's actually insane. Got a full meter. I'm not going to use it this time because it just doesn't seem to be worth it. Alright. Slow down time. I could go in and do some damage here, I guess. Or I could just chill back because <laughs> I'm scared to attack. Man, that's crazy. So much health. What if I go after the legs first, I wonder? Does that even matter? Chip it away, chip it away. You gotta be very patient in a lot of these fights. I play a lot of games this year, and it's like, this might be one of the more difficult ones. At least in like the last little bit, you know? A little stagger, okay. I wanna like go in and do damage while Tornado's hitting, but.
Probably the most damage I've done so far. Okay. I love that as you get the meter higher, it makes the weapon, like, crazier, you know? <laughs> Big damage. Big damage. That's so sick. Man, look how tanky this enemy is. It's actually insane. Please just die. You know what? Have this, buddy! Hello? <laughs> Hardest encounter in the entire game. My goodness. Let me go ahead and grab these. You get three from this. I think they do this for a reason. They want you to fight three major enemies. That way you can at least get the essence cores, you know? Here we go. One source of power down. We are one step closer to facing Thelos. Let us reach the other source. I'm assuming the other side's gonna be the exact same setup. I guess I'll be ready now. All right. How far away is it? Uh, okay, we have an anvil down here. What I may do is just fast travel if I can, at least closer back. If there is one. <laughs> we'll find out. Got something over there, too. Not gonna go after every little thing I see. I really just want to just keep progressing. But it seems like a lot of the, uh... A lot of the story is essentially just getting to... Yeah, there's no other fast travel point. Okay, we gotta actually go back. Getting all the different upgrades before the end of the game, you know? Hey, we actually gotta go all the way. Whoa, hold on. Wait, what? There was something right there I could've... Well, it's whatever. Where's the thing at where I can go back? Unless I'm supposed to fast travel, which doesn't really make sense, because... Yeah, there's no other anvils. Unless there was one back here I didn't actually activate, I might be stranded. <laughs> Alright, well... Um... Can't really use that. Let me top off my healing and stuff, hold on. Alright, we go across right here. Almost didn't make that either. Oh my goodness. I forget. A little stumped because it's like I thought we just hopped down, but because there's something down there you can actually lift up. But when I hopped down originally, I just died, so. Try it again, maybe? Let's see. Okay, we're good. This isn't even the right thing. That's funny. I'll take that, though. I wonder why it faded to black a minute ago. That was kind of weird. It's like I was close enough. I felt like I could have made it work. All right, one... Okay, yeah, we're not going over there. Uh, It's got to be here, though, right? Here we go. 
Ledge to ledge. Here we go. Gotta move. It's funny. Enemies didn't pop up anywhere until this. That is hilarious. Okay. When I actually needed to activate something, then they want to show up. messed up big time. All right, we should be good. Woo, okay. One of two down, here we go. And they are really far away, my goodness. Reminds me of doing the King's Fall raid in Destiny when you get uh, get to the final boss Oryx, you know, and you're like trying to. You have somebody that gets teleported randomly, and they're like the runner essentially, and these platforms pop up above you, and they have to run and like do a bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna run past you. If that's okay. All right, now we're in the open. Here we go. I would imagine you could probably upgrade if you wanted to like farm and get maxed out everything. Oh no, it's quicksand. Oh my goodness. We leave now. The race will return as strong as before. It's fine with me. I'm never coming back here. We out. Eight hundred away. Okay. I don't know which one is the actual. Okay, I think that over there. I think that is the uh, objective. This over here is just talking this to somebody. Is over. I hope it can be rebuilt. What is it? Once, Thelas and I were united, worked together. Now, it fills me with shame. Supposed to get up there, I'm imagining, right? What? Game's like stuttering a lot. Not sure what's going on. It's like, at least they know people are going to come up here. Yeah, <laughs> because they put items there. Uh, let's go around this way. I think maybe I should just interact since we're already here by this objective. This will be the other night, I think. And maybe an anvil spot? We'll see. That'd be nice for coming back at least. There is a wealth of research to be done on these. The door seems to be protected. We need to lift a spell before we can open it. A double barrier. Thelos is getting nervous. Good. Alright, task force leader, here we go. Hail Gauntlet Bearer. What is happening? We've been unsuccessful in opening the gate, so we're stuck here. Hopefully the others have had more success. Or maybe you can find a way in. I'll try to open the gate. All right, so I've been stuck on this part for a minute. The only thing I could think of is this right here might do something. I'm not sure. This is like those little mini things where they want you to go. Oh, wow, over there. I'll try it, I guess. I wasn't sure what I was doing wrong. At first, I was like, okay, is there not another path around there? And it looks like you have to go through the door. So I'm going to just do this. This must be a timed one, too. Hold on. I got to hurry. That's a long ways away. This might not even work, but we'll see. I'm hoping it is. Because I don't see any other way to get over there. And this has to be set up like this for a reason, right? Please don't go away. Please don't go away. I 
Where's the next one at? That way. Oh no. We got a path at least. I'll take it. Remember this game's over? I'm gonna be sad that uh other games don't have the movement this one does, you know? Most games will give you like a double jump, sometimes a dash here and there, but nothing to this extent. What? Alright, where's the next one? Let's see. That way, okay. Artifacts in our path. It could be a good time to look at them and see what they do. Almost done. You were saying? You missed your chance. Come on, do your thing. Are you sulking? No. Do do not fall. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Can't stop and collect anything. I'm not even sure if this is timed. I just don't want to find out. Like, I get all the way to the end and I don't do it right, you know? <laughs> uh, okay. I don't see another shortcut over here, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm hoping this is right. We'll find out, though. I just assumed we had two different energy sources that were the exact same setup. Three bosses on one side, three on another. I didn't know. Here it is. Ceiling totems. Oh, it did go to the door. Nice. Hands crush. Good. We can reach the source. But careful. I do not know what is waiting for us. How far away is this? Oh, it is. Okay. Do you think the humans from the swamp lived here originally? I know for a fact that some did. Here live scholars of soils and plants. They asked me for great power. I was the god of freedom, and so I gave them the essence stones. They could not handle them. I'm trying to avoid fighting anything unnecessarily. Uh, same as the last one. I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay. Let me look at the map really quick. We follow this path, I think. Yep. Hey, here we go. Uh-oh. How y'all doing? Take it easy. And then up here to the left, I'm assuming, right? I don't get if that's like an entrance or what. Oh, it is. Nothing? Okay. Certain angle I can probably get this. There we go. Yep, this is it. You know, for what's actually in this game, it seems like... I mean, there's a lot of enemies, trust me. They're, all of them probably worth fighting, but... Uh-oh. They're like, like the core of everything. But I feel like for the environment, they created such a huge world. And it's not too much into it, really. You know? Alright, we definitely gotta fight. Alright, here we go. You're ready. Would not be surprised if it's the same thing as before. We gotta fight, like, several enemies. Tornado in this little area? Okay. I see how it is, game. Tornado time. Let's get it. My favorite ability in the entire game is the tornado stuff. You 
get closer, get closer. Just a little bit too high up there, I think. I'm expecting to fight the same three enemies as before. I guess we'll find out. down in there it looks like it is it's just in the tornado that's funny okay i've lost like all that now nice do i get this new material i think i actually needed that Hold on, let me double check Can't get to it. Okay. <laughs> Be a little too easy if I could just do that. I'm just happy I still got all the meter. You know, from that last fight. to survive and not overextend, but... I had a feeling. <laughs> Only two swipes in it. There it is. keep my distance as much as I can. Tornado? And another tornado. One, two. Hematon. That actually reached. That's insane. One, two. That does so much damage, my goodness. One, two, hammer, back and forth. Okay. We're not done yet. Here, buddy. Oh, it's that boss from earlier. Or is it? Wait. The same one or no? We got, oh no, it's the one from earlier in the game where you actually gotta destroy each, like, spot. Although it's super tanky. What in the world? Got 
one of them down. Hold on. <laughs> like how we're just like chill, like waiting for it to happen. Like, all right, here we go. Instantaneous, my goodness. All right. Tornado's doing a little bit of chip damage. Let me just attack. There we go. It's a time for the big damage. Let me get these. Before I forget. Where's the other one at? Here it is. So it's kind of like the other side where there's two enemies instead of three on that one. Which seems to be kind of backwards, what you want the most. But it doesn't really matter. You are rich with resources. We should use them to strengthen our essence stones. Or fuse new ones. Elos's barrier is no more. We have to do this. Everyone is counting on us. We're going back now. All right. I have a lot of the essence, so I'm gonna go to an anvil and just get whatever I can. Is there another one right here? Hey! What? Every seven seconds? And it's for the first column, too. Interesting. What does this one do? Uh, for my attack, which is stronger for each equipped damage stone. Mm-mm. I mean, better than the hammer, I don't know. A little too late in the game to be experimenting, I feel like. Uh, I think I have pretty much everything I like currently equipped. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's probably good. What I will do is upgrade my armor, if I can. I have enough of the essence stuff to actually... Probably get one or two tiers. We'll see. I forgot how much it costs. It's like 10000 I think. Alright. Crush the shrine. Here we go. I wonder if this game has multiple endings. Or is it just the one? Their anvil is close. Do you feel it? Ooh. Hold on. There's a... There's an elite enemy up here. Can I run past it? Or is this all tied together? Oh, wait. Let's just... Hold on. This isn't even the right spot. So, we're going to go here. Let me see what this is first. This is a... Uh, what's an anvil? How convenient. Sand is not forever. Without Thelos' influence, everything will grow again. Can we really do it? Take down a god? It has been done before, and I believe in you, Gauntlet Bearer. All right, first things first, let's do uh, armor upgrades. Yeah, here we go. I can do two of them, really. There's one. Look at the increase. Watch this. My goodness. 15,000. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. We got perks. Uh, let's see. I think I was going to eventually just get all of these anyways. I don't do the stone parry that much. What does this one say? Oh, wow. That right there is nice. And you can upgrade the perks too. I, I was going to do that, but I just feel like... 
Wait, can I reset? I want to reset, uh... Hold on, because this right here... The momentum is so huge. I just feel like... If I can have more of that at the beginning... I should max that out. I really should. Get a refresh. You know, it's all fine. I'm not going to worry about... Undoing everything. I think we're good. Wait, I can just... I'll probably just go back to the same spot. It doesn't say, but I'm assuming this is the right, the right one. We'll find out. Pretty sure we're close to the end of the game, but I could be wrong. Um, all right. One is there and one is way over there. Okay. There's like some, oh, it's like a little path right here. So we could stop here on the way there. Okay. Probably going to get enemies popping up. Yep. There we go. That feeling. I think overall this game has been pretty well done. I was kind of curious how it would hold up on PS5, and it's been really smooth. Uh-oh. I haven't played it on PC, though. All right, we can stop here first and then head over there. Yeah, it's right down here. Here we go. Yeah, it's been a pretty fun game. I've just enjoyed playing it. It's, like, got a nice vibe to it where it's just chill. There she is. We should build us. We took down the protection. Thank you. We have seen the flickering. I wanted to honor Valerie before all hell breaks loose. Would you join us? Let's honor the fallen. We are gathered here to honor the memory of a great warrior and scholar, my sister. Valerie Aquila Taj. She was a woman of belief. In the cause. In her friends and family. In the power of things unseen. The gauntlet was her passion at the end. She believed in it. Even when others did not. She was right. And she is the reason we stand upon the precipice of victory over tyranny. You were the best of us. Thank you, sister. And... Farewell. She would have loved how the sea looks tonight. At least she has seen it. Not everyone can. We have been in hiding so long. We almost forgot what is out there in the world. So many people have died. Now we have to make sure it wasn't for nothing. This is a new era for the Knights of Bastingar. And this era has a place for you, Arif. You... You really mean that? Yes. This is not about forgiveness. It's about our future. I... Thank you. But first, we have to end this. And you... I didn't believe. Couldn't believe. But you are the best of us. And now? Now I believe. We will end it, and help Nile prevail. We will remain here, keep the wraiths at bay. The rest... The rest is up to you. Good luck to the both of you. We'll be here when you are done. Very cool cutscene. We approach the end of our journey. It has been long and tiring, but we will change the world. I know it. I would like to say something. It has been, I, I mean, this, this journey was it's all right. I know. 
Thank you, Gauntlet Bearer. All right, looks like we're uh, in the end game now. All right, here we go. And we're definitely going to, I'm guessing, the final boss of the game. No other way around it. But yeah, thank you all for supporting this series. It's just a random game. You know, it kind of popped up on my radar at the last minute. Wasn't sure if I'd even play it. And then uh, once they kind of offered a sponsorship for the first part, I was like, yeah, I'll play it. And then after the first video, I just wanted to see more of it. So I was kind of surprised by how much fun I had when I did play it. And here we are, you know, <laughs> all the way at the end. I'm assuming we're going to fight a lot of stuff leading up to the fight. If there is a giant boss at the end or something. Here it is. This is it. This is it. Like a man, how <laughs> You should have stayed in your prison, old partner. All right, here we go. Careful. You dare come for me? Great. My foolish. I may be the worst nature. Tough fight, I feel like. Oh no. Oh, we got a lot of this, huh? Alright. Can I actually damage the boss? There's so much going on. Okay. Oh, wrong one. just run away for a minute. I don't really know what's going on just yet, so kind of getting a feel for everything. I'm assuming after this we get... Nope. Nice. Alright, so far so good. I'm assuming there's like multiple phases. There's no way it's just like one thing and that's it. Oh no! I know I got that increased armor, so I might be doing a lot more damage than I think. It's crazy. I had two full upgrades. You will face your end now. No more prison. Oh no. Quicksand in the middle of fight? Oh no. each plate. Oh, we're safe. Okay. Woo, I got nervous. I want everything. 
everything I got. Big damage, my goodness. All right, same as last time I'm guessing. Yep. All right, you're ready. I'm gonna like stay on this side and just kind of, there you go. It's like Destiny 2 with Callus on the different plates, you know? DPS, DPS. Here we go. Oh my god, I thought I was dead. Big damage. Here we go. Get ready. We got lasers. We got everything. Kind of have to not even pay attention to the boss. All right, we're good. Yeah, this boss is like a combination of all of them combined, I feel like. Minus the uh, quicksand. I don't remember that one at all. Come on. Let's go, baby. This, after centuries, the Watcher was destroyed. The prison crumbled. The essence cycle was broken. Niall was free. Free to breathe. Free to live. Free to rule. The unthinkable had happened. Thelos was defeated. They left this earthly plane. Their anger and oppression dissipated. The wraiths left alongside their master. Change had come with the gauntlet bearer. 
who in but a short amount of time reshaped everything. Every person found themselves in a new world, a world in which they have yet to find their place. The Knights can show themselves now. We can become a force for good once more. I only hope I am up to the task. The Queen of a Thousand Years will not shape this world any longer. She will atone for her sins and accept her punishment. Will she live to reach the age for which she is known? Who can say? I do not know what the future holds for Nihal. They rule over this world now. But how will they treat the people? Have they learned about them? The Gauntlet Bearer left the fight. But the Gauntlet remains, still brimming with the power of the gods. This world now has a future. Flowers will bloom where now desert exists. But if the winds change once more, the gauntlet will call for a new bearer. All right, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. This is a really fun game to play. Usually when I'm not sure if I'm going to finish something, I don't keep recording it. This one, I just had the urge to keep playing it, so I did. And here we are at the end. But uh, Final Boss was cool. I thought it was a really nice story. I thought, let's go like pros and cons really quick. Let's start with the cons. Uh, I felt like the world, while it was open world-esque, it wasn't fully open world. Um, I like being able to use the anvils to fast travel. I also like the upgrading. I'm talking about pros right now, I guess, instead of cons. But... The cons is like the enemy density. I think I was more... By the end of the game, I'm like, all right. Fighting a elite enemy over and over, whatever they're actually called, over and over, is a little exhausting sometimes. I felt like they threw them at you way too often. And just running around the world, I understand why the world was so big, because the movement is one of the best things in the game. That and the combat. But yeah, I just wish there was like more standard enemies instead of always having to like fight a huge enemy in an area with a bunch of small ones. Wish there was a little more variety with that. And it seemed like the final boss was more like a combination of everything you kind of fight throughout the entire game. So, uh, that's like the only con. I thought the story... Let's go to the pros. Story was fine. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the gauntlet aspect, I think the two best things in the entire game is the combat. The game kind of rewarding you for performing well. You know? Like, the game's like, all right, you made it this far without getting hit. Let's keep building, like, the momentum. The momentum meter was insane. I thought, like, more games should totally do that. If other games have done that, and I'm not sure about them, let me know. Uh, I'm not sure if The Surge or Lord of the Fall, whatever the other games they worked on are, have anything like that. But that was one of the highlights. And also, I understand why the world was so big, because you had different areas. Obviously, they want you to be able to, like, dash around. Having triple air dash is insane. I thought, okay, we get one. Maybe we get a second one. Hey, that's awesome. Wait, you can do three. That's insane. So there's times where I'd be like jumping around. I wasn't sure where to go sometimes, even with the help of like the icons and everything. Um, there were also a few moments where I had to lower the difficulty of the game because I remember struggling at certain points and I would always like get, okay, towards the end, like that one section where I had to fight three bosses in a row. Then it's like... I got to the last one, and then I died, and I got to redo the whole thing. That kind of stuff's a bummer, but I felt like lower the difficulty didn't really do much. Like, the enemies just weren't as tanky. That's all it really did. So, uh, that helped me out a little bit, just kind of get through the story. Sometimes, I felt like the overall vibe of the game was well done. So, my two favorite things, the momentum meter with the combat, earning different perks. Upgrading the armor also was great. The armor system was really nice. I liked that everything's through essence, essence cores for like the major stuff you can get the blueprints for a lot of stuff just by exploring the entire world traversing in this game is nice because the way they've kind of got it set up you can kind of see why the world is so big because hey we have this awesome movement you know you get one dash two dash three dash then you're gliding everywhere you're just like 
I don't know. It's just really well done. But, all right. I'm going to go ahead and just cut through after the credits and see what pops up. And, uh, yeah. Give me one sec. All right, here we go. All right, so we've completed it. I'll say this right now. The overall feeling of the game was well done. For them to go from something like The Surge and The Lords of the Fallen game to this, whole different vibe, but kind of the same playstyle. But it's funny because I remember like in The Surge, you didn't have a lot of movement. You could dodge or block or whatever, parry. I'm not really sure what it all had. It's been a while since I played it. But the fact that they go from something like that to this, night and day difference. But anyways, love you all. Best audience ever. I think what I'll wind up doing is just kind of keep this on the hard drive for a bit mess around with it in my spare time i want to upgrade this armor set all the way and also see if there's other ones that are even better than this which i doubt it maybe there's like some ultimate set in the game that is hidden or whatever i don't really know what's all in there yet i'm like the only person on this played it all the way through usually when i get done with games i talk to people that have already finished it i did it with Elden ring i did it with like final fantasy 16 re4 everything this one I don't know who to talk to. Nobody else I know has played this game. So, uh, best audience ever. Thank you for supporting all the random games that played this year. So, uh, coming up, we got a lot of stuff. I mean, September's going to be kind of starting out strong, you know, star filled a bunch of other stuff. Then by October is GG's. I mean, you got the new Assassin's Creed, you got Call of Duty in November, Spider Man 2 is the big one for uh, October, Alan Wake 2, maybe Alone in the Dark. That might be a game I play later on, but kind of my current goal but just felt like overall this game was nice i kind of had a, like a week or two where not a lot was happening it's kind of before the big game rush i was driving the other day and i was i always think about my youtube stuff a lot when i'm just like out either walking running driving doing anything kind of like cardio type stuff but i was driving to go do something and i remember i started thinking about like what does this game kind of remind me of and the one game that keeps sticking out because it's not similar at all. But it's the release window. It's when it came out. It's the length of the game. It's everything. It's Saints Row. Where it was okay. Wasn't groundbreaking. It's not going to win any awards. But it was a fun game to play. Had a cool story. And then it's... Once it's over, it's like, that's it. You know? And it was also released, I think, in August, if I'm not mistaken. So it's kind of neck and neck with this you know like i feel like both are well done anyways i'm kind of rambling thank you all for watching this series it means a lot to me if you want anything else with this game or just any other recommendations or games you're looking forward to this fall just let me know but for now this is it love you all and i will talk to you very very soon all right peace